Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. If you've seen the rest of my channel, you'll have seen me restore bracelets, rings, chains, all kinds of silver items. And usually I get rid of the dings by sanding and polishing them out. But the reason I'm showing you this today is because this item is hollow. Uh, the silver's very thin. So this presents a different set of challenges that I probably haven't shown you before. So let's take a look at it, see what the problem is, and let me show you some of the solutions that I use to remove the dents. So follow me. This is actually a silver sugar sifter. So what would happen is you would fill it with granulated sugar, put the top back on, and you would use it to sprinkle sugar granules on fruit, desserts, strawberries for example, anything you like. So that's what it's for. Um, a Victorian silver sugar sifter. Secondly, very important, whenever you're working on anything like this, check the hallmarks out. Very, very important. Make sure that you know the item is sterling silver, not silver plated. Because if this is silver plated, if I start sanding away the plating, then obviously you're going to create more damage. So make sure you know exactly what you're dealing with. It's fairly good condition overall, but you can see there's a very nasty dent there. And that's a big thing to take care of. And if I rotate it round, you can see I've highlighted there's a couple here, little dents. Again, just going round, I can see some tiny little dents and scratches. Uh, some superficial marks. There's quite a bit of tarnish on it. Nothing major, but all little things that just need addressing. If I put it on a metal block, it's not too bad. I can see a couple of little gaps around the bottom there, so I might just tap that down, just make sure that it's absolutely flat and it stands straight. The lower part is perfectly round, but the top part here slightly off round so I might just make that completely round. The first thing I'm going to address is this large dent here. This is the main thing. You see the metal is fairly thin so I can't do the usual trick of just sanding it down and polishing it. That wouldn't work. Plus as well because of the shape if I sanded it down it would be flat so I do need to push it out from the inside. So I'm going to need something that's curved that I can put inside and it will push upwards and help me push that dent out. Quick look around my workshop and I've got a load of these. These are plastic knitting needles. Um, you can see the point on the end there. And I keep these, these are useful for all sorts. You notice I've put on the diameter there. And these are plastic, not the aluminium ones, these are plastic. Because these knitting needles are plastic all I need to do is just set up my torch here and then just get the soft flame wave the plastic just in front of it, just enough to warm it up got to be careful not to set fire to it and just keep checking it and then once it starts to bend I can feel it and there we go, it's just starting to bend now bend it to the handle that I want and then quickly just dunk it into some cold water and as soon as it hits the cold water, it's nice and firm again, and nice and hard to the shape that I want it. Simple as that. Now finally, um, probably the most importantly, is to just round off that tip. A little bit of emery paper, just to get that nice and smooth. So this is the piece that's going to go inside there. Okay. Um, this piece is going to rub on the inside and push up the dent. This is why I needed it very smooth. The right handle here gives me something to hold so when it's inside I can see where it's going and I can give it some leverage. And you notice that it's all in a straight line. That means that when I put it inside and I'm looking down like that I know exactly where it's pointing because obviously I can't see the tip. So let's zoom in and let's see if it does any good. Forgive the strange camera handle, 
but this is how I like to do it. So really close into my body, I've got a good grip on it with my left hand. The, the dent I'm working on is there and I'm keeping my arms close into my body so there's a lot of control holding the tool there and bracing it with my thumb there and I'm rubbing it backwards and forwards and I'm feeling with these fingers here I'm feeling for the vibration every time it hits that bump so I know when I'm in the right spot and then when I feel I'm in the right spot I start to lift it upwards like that so I'm applying upward pressure and I'm rubbing it I'm using my fingers so I'm doing this and I'm rubbing it where I can feel the dent so I'll try and keep it still and zoom in for you and hopefully you can see what's happening right so this is difficult to do on camera hopefully you can see the dent there so nice and light I'm feeling for the dent, I can feel it, I'm on it there, so I'm now applying some pressure and I'm starting to rub. And what I'm looking at is that little black dot in the centre and I'm looking for that to move and to start to go smaller. Okay, so I've been doing that for a couple of minutes, um, that little plastic tool has been really useful. The two smaller dents that I showed you at the beginning, they're completely gone. Um, again, it's difficult to show on camera, but they actually popped out. One of them, you can actually see it go when, it, uh, when I pressed it. The, the big dent is about, oh, it, it's, it's about 50% or a third of what it was. And I think there's a little seam in the middle. I'll give you a close up so you can see. And it's just, not quite popping out in the very center so I need something a little bit tougher now I can put a little bit more force in so another great tool you can use inside hollow items is something like this uh, this is just a steel coach bolt but the point is it's got a nice big rounded head so again if you look at the dimensions of it that can go inside and the rounded rim there, that will allow me to push just on the rim there and hopefully I can push out that little dent there. Again, it takes time, so I put it inside, I'm gently, I'm feeling for the bump, I can feel it rocking there, so then I'll start to press with my fingers. And again, it's just taking your time, being very, very gentle. Remember what I said at the beginning, I can't over polish this because the metal's thin. So I have to get this as perfect as I can and then just very light polish. So it's worth spending the time now to get it right than trying to correct a mistake afterwards. Now here it is again after a couple of minutes with the bolt. And you can see you've still got that little line there. But if I move it to the light, can you see that that dent around it has gone now? And literally that took about six or eight little rubs. That's all it was. Um, so we're almost getting it up to the surface now. It's pretty good. But I think I can do a little bit better. So I'm just going to carry on for a little bit longer. Just a few seconds. Okay, so I'm almost there. There's just a very, very faint line now. So last little trick I can do. Just give me a little bit more force is get the bolt, pop it on the end of my bench and I'm just going to hold that down at the end, end there with a clamp. I'll tell you what, I'll just push that out a little bit further actually. Okay, you see that? Let's zoom in. I can put the piece over there again using my finger just very lightly feel and it's getting difficult now but I can still feel it just catching on the inside. But now I can apply a little bit more pressure. And as I'm rubbing it backwards and forwards, so the inside of the bolt is pushing on the inside of the dent there, and I can put my finger on it, and I can just feel it. So back to the macro shot here, and you can see it's the dent itself is gone. There's just a little line there, which is nothing more than a scratch really. So, just a little rub with a silicone wheel there, just to get rid of that uh, bit of tarnish. And there we go, 
that dent is absolutely 100% gone. So I'm just looking around the piece now and if there's any bad scratches just give them just a little touch with a very fine silicone wheel. Again, I know I keep saying this, but very gentle and very subtle. Now, you might be able to see this on the camera. I'm going to try and push out that little dent there. But if I put the thing inside, can you see through the holes there? You can actually see it inside. You see it there? So as I push up, If you loop there, that's where the dent is. And so what I'm doing is I'm pushing up, I'm pushing towards the camera. Yeah, just a few little scratches there. I think that's okay, so we can take a look at that solder joint now down there. And again, I'm just getting right into the corner there. And just give it a quick buff. Maybe just a little tap there. Okay, so it sits nice and flat. Um, the second thing is the lid. Now this here is, this is a reducing die. This is off my wedding ring stretcher. And this has got like tapered circles in it. This one is a plastic one. And this has got a very big hole at the end there, which is just the right size. So all I'm gonna do, is put the cap there so it just fits into that hole push down and I'm just going to twist it round a little bit and that's all I'm doing and all I'm doing is I'm just making that edge perfectly round there we go so let's go and polish it first thing I'm going to do is put it in the magnetic polisher uh, while it's in there, that will clean it up, get inside all the little holes and clean up the inside. So there you go, all nice and clean. So not much to say here, I'm using my little Pepe polisher again. Now there is a little bit of engraving detail on here so I want to be careful with that so again just working my way around and the main thing is there's these lines so I don't want to buff the lines out now with the main body there's no engraving on it so it's just a case of polishing everything up. this loose mop here this will help me get into these tight little wasted areas here. Finally, a little touch of the Menzerna Super Finish. This is a very fine, light polish. And then just go over the whole piece, side to side, rotating it round. And that will just give it that final mirror shine. So there we have it, absolutely beautiful. Um, off camera all I did was I've washed it in soapy water to get rid of the polish and I've just given it a dunk in the ultrasonic again just to get rid of any polish. And there we go, it's come out absolutely fabulous. So who would have thought it eh? A steel bolt and a bent plastic knitting needle. I hope you found that useful and enjoyed the ride. If you did, please like and subscribe. Check out the rest of my channel for loads of silver, jewellery, antique restoration and a few tool reviews as well. Thanks for watching. I've been Dave Wilson and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.